Um, we try to bring together students from across the entire campus uh, with a variety of backgrounds, a variety of skills, and we try to um, get them, they, what they essentially do is learn to build a game. They design it, they plan it, they have to pitch it to their colleagues. We window down from 48 game ideas um, down to the final game ideas that eventually get built. And the idea is that they, they really put their, their programming skills, their design skills, their graphic skills, um, and their organizational skills, bring that to bear on a really practical uh, problem, in this case, building a game. The ICLCS is a um, project of the National Science Foundation. It, we work with 124 rural high school teachers to teach chemistry and to incorporate computational tools in the high school chemistry courses. It would be wonderful um, if some of those um, interactive experiences that students have would be uh, using games in the classroom to teach the concepts. They were tasked with trying to identify chemistry elements, high school chemistry elements that then they could incorporate in the game so that students, high school students could play their game and learn something about high school chemistry concepts. Some of the games uh, were kind of created with the idea students are learning through the game, some are students are learning outside the game but then the game sort of assesses their knowledge of the chemistry and then I think some of the creators thought of it more like here's a fun game it introduces some chemistry concepts so that when they see those concepts in the classroom they'll be able to say ah yeah I remember seeing something like this. This game is Academiopoly. Um, this uh, basically is a multiplayer tower defense game. So this is Element Zero. What we have here is a list of comics that will start off the exposition for the game. Basically, we start off in the research center of research where something is amiss and failed experiment gone rogue has returned to destroy the lab and release all the failed experiments upon it. However, in the chaos, he also releases Element Zero from his test tube, which is where we start. So the basis of this game is, so you play as three characters, Acid, Base, and then Red, with Red being, he's a little human kid, and the goal of the game is to get Red back home. So okay. there's a map. Um, you're going to have a character and a base, okay? okay. Uh, you can move around your character and build towers to actually defend your base, and you can also build spawning portals that go off and attack my base. We have a chemistry system, basically, that handles uh, attack and defense. Basically, we have a paper, scissors, rock kind of system going where there's various types of elements, solids, liquids, and gases. And um, what you do is you uh, basically send your grad students out to uh, the other bases and um, we uh, color code them to show what kind of elements they have. And uh, you basically have a strategic battle going on, um, you know, based on uh, the chemical properties. Uh, we have just a brief exposition telling you about how electrons are your life. It's not really explained in detail in the beginning, but what we found is when testing the game, players would usually exit through a lot of text too quickly, so we try to explain it in small increments. The chemistry gets involved once we start exploring more the level and picking up more of these lab notes. Here we have one that's telling us about how the alkali shot is working. Basically we have a ball of alkali on our hand, and every time we're shooting, we're performing some small exothermic reaction that's releasing a small amount of energy and firing off pieces of metal from the alkali ball. In terms of the chemistry, we kind of have that whole acid and base thing with the characters. If you pause, you'll see there's a pH scale, so we're kind of trying to show the pH scale, but also with the characters, because they will change color depending on their pH. So right now, he's green, so he's in the neutral. There's some areas where you have to mix chemicals together. The main point of the game, so there's this poison ivy blocking your way, and through a series of puzzles using acid and base, you have to make some weed killer, which you get like a, a recipe from this object. So then you kind of know, oh, I have to make, get these ingredients and make some weed killer myself. So the chemistry element of this game is that the minions that you spawn are specific types of chemicals. Okay. And then the tower is specific types of chemicals. And what we did is we clustered these certain types mm -hmm. into different kind of groups. And so these groups, uh, let's say we have right here. So ethanol is fire type, whereas butanol is freeze. 
Okay. And then those have specific damage bonuses against other minions and other towers. The winner is Element Zero. As a former teacher, I would have loved to have games that would inspire students, um, encourage them, and uh, make them enthusiastic about science.